wanted to share a tutorial with you today. I know everything is going the pumpkin spice direction this time of year and I thought it might actually be fun to do an eye look in that theme because I love that um, warmth of color so much. Um, it just made sense to do an eye look like this. You might remember last year I did a caramel apple themed look so if you're interested in that, the greens and kind of bronzy tones, you can check out that video. Today it's really all about the warm kind of orangey tones, a little bit of gold thrown in. I wanted to do this themed look and make it fun for fall, but still make it something that you would feel comfortable wearing out of the house. It's a warm, smoky eye with just a touch of sparkle. And so I'm using a couple of shades that I really love from ColourPop. I'm also pulling in my Vegas Nay Stardust palette. And at the start of this look for the tutorial, I already have like my foundation and concealer on, but I'm going to go through the eye look and then finish up with some of the different um, things on the face that I think really help enhance the look like bronzer, highlight, blush, and the lip color as well. So here we go. I hope you like it. First off, I'm taking my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Melrose. I'm using my finger to apply this all over the lid. It's a great matte, really um, orangey brown type color. I've called this pumpkin spice in an eyeshadow. And then I'm going to take my Sigma E25 brush and blend that up into my crease as well. Just get it really nice and soft. And then I pulled in my E40 brush, just using that there to soften up any edges there. And then I'm going to apply my highlight. I'm using Chandelier from the Stardust palette and just dabbing that right under the brow with a flat brush. Then I'm going to go ahead and line my lower inner rim with my Milani Supreme Cold Kajal Blackest Black Eyeliner. Take that just in between the lashes also on the outer part of the lower lash line. Then with my Sonia Kashuk Small Shadow Brush, I'm picking up the shade called Girl's Night, and I'm just going to dab that on the outer part of the lid. I'm going to pull that up into my crease as well, and also blend that a bit with my E25 brush just to get a little more depth. It's a bit more brownish than Melrose's. And then I'll take that as well with a smudge brush on the lower lash line, overlapping where I put the black liner. And then I'm going to pick up the shade called Millennial, which is more peachy a little bit lighter, using that with a pencil brush on the lower lash line to just kind of buff over everything there. I'm also going to use that with my Sigma E36 brush, which is nice and wispy, and I'm just going to apply that as sort of a light sheer border. Now at this point you could really leave the look as is if you wanted to, but I wanted to pull in this color called Crimper. It's from ColourPop, and it's just a really fun sparkly golden shade. And this is a very buildable shade, so the more you add it'll go from from being like sheer to a more solid goldeny looking shade. So just keep that in mind. You can apply as much as you want. Next, I'm just going to go across my upper lash line with my Kat Von D Mad Max Brown uh, Tattoo Liner. It's such a black brown. I find myself reaching for this all the time just because it's so easy to apply a really fine line with. And then I curl my lashes. I apply my CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara to the upper lashes and my Clump Crusher Water Resistant to the lower lashes. I just love using that down there because it doesn't transfer off. And then I'm using my Coco Lashes number 201. They're a nice, soft, wispy, but very full lash. So once the glue gets tacky, I lay that on my upper lash line. And once that starts to really adhere to the lash line, I apply just a little bit more of the Super Sizer Mascara to make sure all of my lashes are kind of bonded together. Then I'm pulling in kind of a rediscovered product as my bronzer. It's the It Cosmetics CC Plus Radiance Ombre Bronzer. And I'm just dipping into this matte bronzer side of the product with my e.l.f. complexion brush, applying it around my hairline, also um, into my cheekbone area a little bit, and I'm going to apply it down onto the decollete area as well, just warming up the whole skin tone. And then there's a really great highlighter at the top of that product, so I'm using this highlight brush from my Up and Up complexion set, and I'm using that primarily on top of the cheekbones. You can also take that down the nose. Um, on the Cupid's bow is a great place for it as well. And then I think just the perfect blush for this look is is this um, kind of terracotta shade in my e.l.f. blush palette. It's matte, it's really pigmented. I may have knocked this shade actually when I first reviewed this palette, but it's just great for this look is what I'm realizing. And then with the lips, I kind of wanted to go soft and natural. I used my Rimmel Show Off Lip Velvet, which is matte, um, in Atomic Rose, and then topped it a little bit with my e.l.f. matte lip color in the shade Praline. So that kind of deepens it up, neutralizes a little bit of the pink in the lip velvet shade, and I think just makes 
makes it a really nice wearable color. And so that's it, guys. That's my finished look for this pumpkin spice tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, put your own tweaks on it. Use your own products, but maybe just the overall concept gives you a little inspiration for the fall. And just in case you're wondering, my foundation today is my Revlon Color Stay for normal to dry skin in fresh beige, an old favorite that I'm bringing back. And I'm combining it with a little bit of my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. This is in the shade N35. A couple reasons why I'm doing that. Um, first off, it deepens this foundation just a bit, which is something I'm needing. And then I'm also just kind of testing this out to see how much added coverage it gives. And I think it does a really nice job. So thank you again so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you again very soon. Bye.